Hi, this is Steve Palladino, Palladino Power Project, and I'm bringing you another video, um, this time regarding structured workouts and how you might um, um, want to modify them if you want to modify them. Um, so let's uh, go to your final surge calendar. I'm using Alex here. Um, he's been very generous at letting me uh, show his stuff. Um, but uh, you, you would go to your final surge calendar, and when you see this little icon up here in the uh, the upper right um, portion of a calendar entry, um, that means there is a uh, structured workout. So you can see these are all structured workouts here. I'm, I, I did this one just for the purposes of this video um, because it usually you can see on his easy days he doesn't usually use the structured workout um, but for workouts and, and long runs that have other things in them um, yes he, he has that he uses them so what you would do is you click on that icon and that would pop this up and you would then click here uh, another way of of accessing it would be if you click on the calendar entry itself, and you scroll down to Workout Builder, it brings you that same um, appearance here, the same interface. So what I do, I just click on that icon there, and then you would click on this one right here. All right, that brings you to this screen, which is the Workout Builder. This is where you build structured workouts or for the purposes of this video, you modify them. Um, one uh, thing, I, this is not uh, the, the main subject of this, this video, but one thing I want to point out is that you want to make sure that your setting here is up to date. Um, so if it's not 382 for Alex, let's say we want, it's, let's say he moved to 385. I would come in there, enter that, and I'd save it. So click on that the edit button. I'm going to switch it back to 382. We save it. And so if you notice over here, this is a, a power based on a percent of this FTP. So 75% is 287, 80% is 306. So let me go change this back. Um, here, I'm going to save it, and you'll see that change from 280, from 287 to 289, and from 306 to 308. Um, it's done automatically. Um, for uh, for those entries in which uh, you are creating it by percent of FTP, I'm going to um, let's go into that. It, there are three different ways of of uh, taking your power targets. I in my plans, the the way that they're they're distributed is by percent of FTP. So um, the low end is eight, seventy five, the top end is eighty for this purpose, and it calculates the numbers. But I can remove that target right here, and I can. Um, if I want to have a uh, a tap a target that is um, based on a zone, that's fine. I don't use those. I don't recommend those. But let's say there's a you you want to change the target. It was two eighty nine to two two eighty seven to two uh, to three oh six. Let's say we want to just make that a round number two eighty five. Um, to uh, 305. There you go. That's changing it to actual power. I, for, for, for most purposes, we're going to come back to this, but for most of the time, I don't think you need to modify that. Um, um, maybe for some of the intervals, you might want to modify the target just, you know, a little bit, but you can do that with the percentages, you know, sliding it up 1% or down 1%. Um, based on how you're feeling. Um, 
Here's another way you can modify a workout is notice that it we have time, 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 lap button press. There's actually three different options here. Um, time, distance, lap button press. Um, so this indicates how the lap changes. So this is an eight second lap based on time. But let's say this, this runner goes, I, I usually do my accelerations. I go down to the local track. I, I run from home to the track and I do my accelerations on the track and then I head, head back out on the, on the road or the path and come back. So I wanna switch this to distance. So we can switch it and uh, let's say we're gonna to go to about 50 meters and we're gonna do this on a, a 400 meter oval and we don't wanna have too long of recovery. So we're gonna go, we're gonna say we're gonna do 150 uh, meter uh, recovery. So basically we're doing a 50, then 150 jog, and then back to a 50 acceleration, 150 jog. All right, so you can switch um, this um, and I'm going to switch it back to time um, as original input. All right. Um, so you can switch to distance. Uh, lap button press, I usually put those at the end um, in some of my workouts because let's say it's a distance. Uh, this is for my one-on-one -on -one athletes. Let's say it's a distance, uh, it's, you know, seven miles. Well, everything's by time up through that point. But, um, you know, it's, and, and that's 28 minutes, by the way, for all this stuff that has time associated, this total 28 minutes. Um, but let's say that, you know, this runner, uh, you know, takes, um, say, 45 minutes to run their seven mile run. Well, they've got an extra roughly, you know, 18, uh, 17 minutes. Yeah, about 17 minutes more to run. So um, they can just, rather than put a time down there or what have you, just you press the lap button and it, it that, that will be the end of that particular um, lap. Um, and, and you just, you know, you're looking at your watch, you get to seven miles, you hit the lap button and you're done. So you can use this uh, at the end. Um, and uh, you could, for that matter, you could use it up here, here, anywhere you want if you want to modify your workouts that way. Um, another thing you can do, uh, I'm just going to throw this in here. You can add an extra step. Uh, let's say um, we want, and you can drag those. So let's say after those, I want to, I want to. Uh, I want to rest. I want to take a um, a thirty second um, walking break. So I come in here and uh, you know put between one and fifty. That's that's a walking range of power. And that that there I just added a step in there. You can also add a, a you know repeats. If I if I do this, it's going to add uh, if you're doing more repeats for. If you're using my plans, not necessary. So I'm just going to get rid of that here. Um, ramps I don't usually uh, use. Um, here's another thing. Most of my uh, plans, uh, the structure workouts in my plans, already have this enabled, uh, step title comment. So um, you could come here and say this is, you know, let's, let's put some instructions in here. Um, gradual acceleration. Um, to um, top speed, um, and you know this may be resume easy jog run. All right, so you can add titles in here. Some people will will also you know put targets or numbers in here. Um, based on this, they'll say okay. Um, 287 to 306. So there's a lot of different things that you can do to modify what I've already had in there to personalize it your, uh, for yourself. Um, uh, and those are some, some examples. 
I'm going to do one more example. Um, I'm going to get rid of these guys. And I'm just going to make this. Uh, this is, let's say, an easy run with no acceleration. So this is just um, easy run or easy aerobic run. You don't even have to put anything here. Um, and we'll say, um, let's say that this is going to be a, uh, a, a eight kilometer run. And let's say the, the runner goes, hey, my, my sweet spot for easy aerobic running is, is this a little bit high for me? Um, you should never, by the way, you should never go over this target. Um, if, if you're finding that this is too easy, then your, your FTP is probably too low. But let's say you're finding this, uh, it's a little bit harder than what I want to go. Um, and I, my sweet spot is, is around 70%. Well, then, then just come over here and change it. Um, as long as it's below that 80%, that's, that's fine by me um, for an easy run. Um, so now I've just changed it um, to customize it to that particular individual. Now it's an eight kilometer run instead of, uh, you know, whatever, a, a, a 40 minute run. Um, and it is now 65 to 75 instead of the original 75 um, to 80 percent. Um, all right, just got rid of it. So that's a convenient spot to stop. That's all the things I wanted to cover anyway. Um, so uh, again, you can you can modify your structured workouts in a number of different ways. Um, I would you know I would sort of stick to the plan as much as possible, but there are ways you can customize it and change it to make it more specific to your running style, your, your preferences, et cetera. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope this was helpful. I'll see you and uh, talk to you on the next one. Thank you.